Breakups can be very, very painful, man, okay? And it's okay to be sad, bro, right? It's okay to be sad. It's okay to, you know, feel that inner pain, right? Feeling like you've lost a part of your soul. I understand, brother, right? I've been through multiple breakups in my life, okay? Throughout my, you know, relationship history, you could say. I've been through multiple breakups, bro, where, you know, the girl's done me dirty she's left me bro right but it's okay man because it's made me into the person I am today and we'll get into that a bit later however more or less I just want to say look I understand bro that you're going through this pain right now okay and by the end of this video I want to help you move forward from your breakup bro I want to help you unleash your full potential and if you stay till the end of the video bro I'll I'll give you all the valuable insights I can give you, everything that's helped me move forward from my, you know, let's say last breakup and you can implement this too, bro. So let's get into it. Now, firstly, one thing, you know, you must understand, bro. And this is one thing I had to find out the hard way, right? Because I was someone that would I didn't understand this, bro. I didn't have the right role models in my life. I didn't have the right guidance in my life, okay? And I'm responsible for everything. I'm not blaming anyone, right? I'm responsible for every single circumstance in my life. I treat life that way. But one thing you must understand, bro, it takes time to heal, okay? It will take time for you to actually heal from this grieving event, we could call it, right? For example, let me explain if you have been with this person for, you know, one to two years, let's say hypothetically, it can take up to, you know, up to a year, bro, to, to get over her, right? Because you've been with this person for such a long duration. My event, my last, you know, breakup, where the girl kind of left me, I was with her for, you know, seven years, bro. So let's say you're with someone for five to seven years, it can take up to two years, you know, even a bit longer, bro, to you know, remove her, I guess, from your soul, right? Because you got to think about it like this. The time that you are with her, it takes approximately half the time to kind of move on, get over her and, you know, heal from that particular relationship, right? You're removing all the memories, all the events that you created, right? All the times, remember, you would hang out with that person. You probably had your own little schedule thing where you used to go, you know, to your favorite little restaurant, listening to your favorite little song. Driving on the same road. You're driving your car. She probably sat in your passenger seat, right? All these memories, bro, right? They're going to be engraved in you. You're human. It's okay, bro. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You're human. Just understand that it's going to take time to heal, right? A lot of men go wrong, and I went wrong like this as well, right? They don't even last one month, bro. They'll try and get back with their ex, right? They'll try and get back with them. And one thing I did, bro, which was foolish, where when my ex, you know, she didn't, say it's over like those particular words but she sort of just distanced herself away from me bro and i always thought there was some sort of hope bro so i was just latching on to latching onto that bro because at that point in my life which was you know at least about two years now bro right i didn't accept the fact that she had left bro right there were so many obvious signs, right? The way that she would, you know, not communicate to me, um, the way that she wouldn't reply back to my messages, all these things, right? There were so many factors there, bro, but I just kept having this thought in my mind that, okay, cool, she's gonna come back to me, she's gonna come back to me, right? And I just literally just wasted so much energy because I didn't accept the fact that she was gone, bro, right? And, I guess you could say I had my rose-colored glasses on, bro, right? I didn't look at things for what they were. And 
I don't want you to make the same mistake, bro. I don't want you to make the same mistake that I did where you just latch onto something. Or, you know, some of you guys might even try to get back with this girl. So you'll, you know, break up for a month and then you'll call her and you'll say, fuck, babe, I miss you. Or, you know, she might say something to you as well. So she broke up with you. You say, I miss you. You know, you might be getting back together. It might even be a toxic relationship that you're, you know, that you the reason why you guys parted or why she broke up with you and then let's say a month comes by bro and you say I miss you and she's already you know slept with another dude or she's hooked up with another guy and then you guys get back together bro and it's just that toxic cycle that keeps going right but more or less bro don't be one of those guys where you just literally jump to the fact that you you don't accept that it's over I even remember one time, bro. This was my very, very, very first heartbreak, bro. This fucking hurt, bro. It literally felt like someone cut my heart with a knife, yeah? After the girl literally broke up with me, and she broke up with me in, like, by writing a letter, right? It fucking hurt, bro. Really, really, really hurt. I remember this to this day. And I just kept trying to do everything in my power bro to not accept the fact that she left me I would try and pretty much I was like a little puppy dog bro right I would you know send her all these text messages I would send her you know photos of us like memories saying remember these times right and I just ended up being a creep bro right I just ended up being a creep because like I couldn't get over the fact that we had broken up it's like you know, this was my first ever love, bro, right? So this really, really, really hurt. And I didn't want to accept the fact that it was over, bro. So I kept trying, trying, trying. I'd like lay off for like, let's say a couple of weeks to a month and then try again until I got my heart squashed when I, you know, found out that she was with someone. But I'll get, get into that a little bit later. However, more or less, bro, what I'm trying to say is this, right? She's broken up with you for a reason, okay? She just doesn't give a fuck anymore. She's broken up with you because she doesn't value you as a man, right? She doesn't see you as that future potential, let's say, long-term partner, person, right? Marriage, whatever the case might be. But think about it, bro. She, if she doesn't see you as that guy, all right? She would not have left you, bro, in the first place, right? She's gone for a reason okay and she wants to basically move on okay she's broken up with you if she saw your value right if you were a man with value again you didn't get complacent she wouldn't have left bro right she'd want to still be part of you know part of your life right she's left you for a reason bro okay and more than likely bro when girls leave they start because girls get a lot of attention they'll start to know date other guys or they'll sleep with other guys and you don't want to be getting back with shit like that bro it's going to become a mess right but you need to understand this man these are the times of adversity right as a man like this is a time of adversity i should say when you're going through this breakup when she's left you bro she's broken up with you okay and it can be very, very, very painful, right? This is the pivotal point where it's like, this time will reveal, you know, your true character, bro, right? You can either break, like I first did when I had my first breakup, bro, and, and even like my most last breakup, bro, you can break like me, right? And run to the drugs, run to the alcohol, call up all the bad friends who love to party and do that degenerate bullshit, right? Or you can let that pain better you, bro, and you can just be free from that shit, right? Because that time of adversity, bro, and this is me speaking to my younger self and helping any of the brothers out there going through a relationship, going through a breakup, sorry. You need to face that pain, bro. That adversity is what you need to face, bro. It is so easy to run away from your problems bro indulge in drugs but what that actually does bro 
is it causes you to go down a downward spiral in life. And then when you don't actually heal, healing is the time of adversity, right? The time that you go through as a man, that painful time when you don't face adversity head on for what it is and you run an escape, you're going to find yourself getting in another relationship with a person that's on the same wavelength as you, right? Because you haven't healed. And you're going to find yourself in a worse circumstance or even the same circumstance as the previous girl, right? Because you haven't learned your lesson. You haven't faced adversity. You haven't dealt with the pain itself. You've ran away. You've put a band-aid on it and you haven't grown, bro, right? You haven't grown. So you're going to find yourself in the same sort of circumstances over and over and over again, bro, right? And it gets to a point where you almost think you're you're right, bro, because you're that mentally fucked up. You're operating from low frequency, right? You've got resentment for this person. And you're like, it's her fault, it's her fault, it's her fault, right? When really, bro, it's your fault. It was my fault, right, at that time. Sort of running away from adversity, you know? I should have just faced it head on. I'm grateful that I've healed from everything now, right? And I'll get into that a bit later, but more or less... You need to face that adversity, bro. You need to face it head on. This is going to be the the time that literally changes you into a, a better and new person, bro, right? So just make sure you don't run away from any pain, run away from any of the problems that you're faced with within this breakup, right? All those thoughts, all those, you know, memories that come back to you. I know it's hard, bro. It can really, really hurt, but... You can either face the pain, bro, head on, tackle it, and be like, you know what, fuck this. What did I learn from this? This is a valuable lesson for me to learn. So I make sure my future self, right, and that future person that's waiting out there for me doesn't have to experience this, this person that's going to go through a downward spiral by, you know, walking into, you know, drugs, instant gratification, all that, right? So just keep that in mind. Now... What you must do, brother, okay? These, please pay attention to this because this is all coming out of love, okay? This all comes out of love because I've been through these pains before and when you've been through these particular, you know, pains in life, like with a breakup, going through this heartbreak, we must heal, bro, and we must heal the right way, okay? So pay attention, bro. Now, what you need to do is firstly, stop all communication with her bro cut out all communication okay delete herself delete your delete her off your social media okay block her number okay don't have anything to do with her bro okay as i said to you bro she's left you i want you to have respect for yourself as a man okay don't do what i did right you need to cut all sorts of communication with her, bro. Block her in every sort of way that you're connected to her, right? Don't be friends with her friend where she's still friends with her. All this shit, right? We don't want her still in the picture. The whole point of facing this at time of adversity is to move forward, not have one foot trying to move forward and one foot stuck in the past, right? That's just going to mess with your head and it's not going to allow you to progress as a man, right? Don't talk to her family right? Don't talk to her brother. Don't talk to her sister, right? Don't be friends with them. I see this countless times, bro, where, you know, I've had friends, they break up with a particular person and they stay friends with, you know, one of their family members. And it's just like, why, bro? Like, why? You should just cut that whole shit out, bro, right? And... You don't want to be you know, being involved with, let's say, her mom, her dad, right? Being that fucking weirdo who, like, helps her parents out, right? When she's already moved on, bro, and she's already sleeping with another dude, right? Have respect for yourself. Fuck that. Who cares if the mom and dad, or the brother, the sister were so kind, so nice. You weren't dating them, bro. You were dating her, right? It didn't work out, so there's no need. And you met them through her, bro. So there's no need for you to keep a friendship with these people, right? Don't think about 
having any sort of attachment to you know her family bro or her friends okay you must accept the fact that she's moved on she doesn't give a fuck she doesn't care don't be creepy bro okay don't be weird let me tell you a time bro getting back to in, getting into this particular um discussion so with my first heartbreak bro she literally broke up with me right through a letter it's very 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 painful bro okay and what hurt even more bro because i'm telling you bro as i said you cut her off from social media i was on facebook and i remember just stalking her facebook bro because she had a public profile at that time and i remember stalking her facebook bro and I remember seeing, bro, there was a picture of her, you know, with her new new guy that she met. This was literally about two to three weeks, bro, two weeks after being with this girl. And we were together for about two to three years, bro, right? So she had already posted a photo. It was her, him sort of hugging her right from behind and her holding a rose that he had given her, right? It was one of those, I think it was a club photo or something like that. Either way. And... When I saw that, bro, my heart actually sank, bro, right? My heart actually sank. And it ama that's what I'm trying to say, bro. When they break up with you, they don't give a fuck, bro, right? And you might think, oh, bro, and this is what I thought at that time because I was like, you know, it was going through, this is like one of my first heartbreaks. I was like, how could she do that to me, bro? You were with me for two to three years and already you've moved on with another guy. And I started to have resentment towards, I was like, fucking bitch, how dare you fucking, you know? And I even think I messaged her, bro, like a weak fucking person. I messaged her saying, you fucking bitch, you've already moved on, how dare you? You know, blah, blah, blah. This is the thing, bro, and you must understand this as, as men, right? When a woman breaks up with you, okay? She's more than likely looking at you as no, not a future potential partner, okay? So as she's trying to find the right words to break up with you, right, and leave you, she's, she's also getting attention from other guys, right? Other guys are hitting her up. She's more than likely going to be, you know, talking to these guys, bro, or going on dates very close to the time where she's going to think, where she's thinking about ending it with you, right? I know this sucks, bro, but this is just the way women are hardwired, okay? And you must have respect for yourself, bro. You must have respect for you to, yourself in these situations because she doesn't, bro, okay? She doesn't have any respect for you because, or she doesn't value you, bro. Because if she did value you, bro, if she, you know, saw you as that potential partner that she wants to be with, right? She wouldn't have done this to you, right? So... Women seek out the best option, bro. Okay, it's fair enough. They want to have children with the best option. And it is what it is, bro, right? It sucks, but it is what it is. Now, the next thing you must do, bro, and please pay attention to this, right? You must transform your physique, bro, right? You must get jacked, okay? I'm not saying you need to look like a fucking bodybuilder, okay? But I'm saying you need to work on your physique, okay? Because there's a correlation between your physique, right? Your body and your mindset, right? There's a direct correlation, okay? Now, I know, okay? And, and you know this, and look, this is coming out of love. This is probably going to hurt your feelings. But majority of you watching this video that are going through the heartbreak, right? majority of you are either fat or you're skinny bro right you actually probably look like shit right now you know going through the breakup i know i did when i was going through mine bro i look like fucking shit and nine times out of ten bro right think about this if you had that jack physique if you had a good physique Nine times out of ten, brother, she would not have left you, okay? She would not have left you. It's because you let yourself go, okay? You got complacent within the relationship. You may have started the relationship off that as that guy that went to the gym. You had good habits about you. You were jacked. 
And then as the relationship progressed, you got lazy and lazy. You started ordering fucking junk food with her, started going on, uh, going out to dinner a lot with her. And then before you knew it, you put on weight, bro. I know, bro, because I've been there and done that, right? So you can't tell me otherwise. So I say, you more than likely don't have a good physique. So what you must do, bro, you must get your ass in the gym, get ripped, okay? And as I said to you, there's a direct correlation between working out and it strengthening your mindset, right? And it's not about you doing it in a way to be like, you know what, bro? I'm going to post pictures out there so she gets jealous. Fuck that, bro. Don't be a fucking loser like that, yeah? Do this for yourself, okay? Because as I said, you're going through adversity right now. You must work on your physical appearance for it to help your mental health, right? This is, we're not doing this to be spiteful, okay? Like a fucking loser, right? We're not doing this to have any, like doing it in a resentful way, okay? We're only doing this to better ourselves and to love what we see again in the mirror and to build up that self-confidence, that self-love again, right? And have that positive self-talk. You know, don't try and, you know, make her jealous and be like, look, look at me right now, I'm fucking jacked. Fuck all that, bro. Do this for you, bro. Because I guarantee you, bro, when you keep your mouth shut, you get to work and you transform your physique. Watch how, watch how many good things start flowing into your life, bro, right? Always be a good person about it, man. Don't be that person, you know, operating through low frequency, having that, you know, shame, that anger, that guilt, all that, right? You must do this for yourself, okay? You need to respect your body as a man, respect what God has given to you, right? And don't fuck it up, bro. Don't do what I did when I couldn't deal with my heartbreaks and I turned to drugs and then ruined my physique and started eating junk food. Don't do that, bro. You just basically contributed to even worse mental health for me, okay? And it doesn't matter, bro. At least I'm here today, overcome all those struggles that I went through and I'm in a position where I can, you know, be here in front of the camera to share my experiences and what not to do, bro, and what I've learned from my mistakes, yeah? So just keep that in mind. Get to the gym, bro. Get jacked. Transform your physique. Do it for you. Build up the self-love, the confidence, and watch how slowly things will start getting better, bro, right? Now, the last thing, okay, you must pay attention to this as well, right? This is the very last thing I want to explain. You must just get to work, bro, if you want to become successful, right? This is the best, I guess, you know, mental revenge, you could call it, right? And I'm not trying to be spiteful in this situation, but this is the best revenge you could do, bro. Like, let's say you want to, you know, instead of trying to get back with her by being nasty or, you know, trying to like, you know, mess with her or, or you know, trying to just directly like say things to her where or say or try to like you know approach her friends or try to you know start to flirt with her friends start don't do any of that bullshit right that's revenge in the worst form the best revenge you can do bro is try and be successful and when i say successful bro this is the perfect time for you to put in the work daily through your daily habits right and create that version 10.0 version of you right get to work bro put in the daily put in the habits sorry put in the work and form these daily habits right because you know that you let yourself go during that relationship this is a great wake up call take it from a take it as a message from you know the universe or god whatever you want to call it as you know what bro i deserve this i got complacent i let myself go as a man God gave me this beautiful thing called life and I just pretty much just pissed it all away during this relationship. I let myself go, right? I put on those extra pounds. I created bad habits. I got lazy. I slept in. All these things, bro, right? All these things that you were doing before. Start working on all the negatives, right? Okay? Start working on all the weaknesses that you went through in that relationship like that you were sort of, you know, going through, like when towards the end of that relationship when it started to fall apart. Start working on those things, bro. Put in work and literally just become successful in whatever 
you know, whatever your avenue is in life, right? Everyone has their own journey, I guess you could say, right? Everyone has their own maybe business venture, career, whatever it might be, right? But just become successful in those areas. And to do that, you must work on yourself as a man, bro, through your daily habits and your actions, right? And build that character that you've always admired so you can kill it in any area or any, you know, direction you want to go, right, in your life, you need to build that particular individual, bro, that character, right? This is the time where you get to rebuild your character, bro, bro and turn yourself into an absolute savage, right? An absolute fucking weapon. This is where you get to kill it. And this is the best revenge, because guess what's going to happen, bro? And I'll tell you this. She... She will find out about your success, bro, one way or another in a couple of years. When you get to work, you just keep your mouth shut and you work on your weaknesses and you just kill it, bro, in, in your particular field that you're wanting to, you know, do in life. She'll find out, bro, and she'll be like, fuck, I didn't actually stick by that guy, right? I didn't give him a chance. And now look at him and she's going to be like, fuck. She's probably going to be hitting you up, bro, right? She's probably going to be hitting you up and doing that bullshit like nothing ever happened like hey how are you you know by then brother it's too late and let me tell you one thing right my ex-girlfriend most recent breakup i went through right broke up about two years ago with with each other for about seven years lived with each other right did all that shit and i mentioned this in one of my videos but i'll mention it again she you know tried to hit me up bro right she tried to hit me up and she realized that I completely changed into a brand new person. I no longer was that person that was, you know, addicted to drugs, being lazy, had bad mental health. Like she knew I wasn't that person, bro. She knew I upgraded myself to a brand new person. And she was literally gobsmacked that I was this person, right? And she started to get obsessed with me, bro. Like literally mentally she was going fucking crazy bro like she would consistently keep hitting up my phone bro like saying and it got to a point bro where she was trying to make me feel bad right because she had found out that all the pain i went through when she you know i guess you could say she broke up with me bro right she didn't say like those exact words but she started to act very 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 cold to me bro and I was an idiot thinking because I had bad, you know, bad mental health at that time, bro. I was going through that time of adversity. I indulged in, you know, drugs, alcohol, partying, all that dumb shit, right? Instead of fixing myself. And I kept latching on to the idea that things, you know, there was hope with her, right? But more or less, bro, what happened was... She kind of, not kept leading me on, but she kind of would like keep me there but then she would date other guys bro and I was that that idiot sort of you know hanging in there bro right because I didn't increase my self-worth that I kept myself sort of attached to that frequency if that makes sense then I got to a point in life bro where I was at breaking point and I decided to be like enough is enough I reconstructed myself into a brand new person bro it took me you know a year to properly move forward and heal from this person and that's what I'm saying, bro. It's very magical how the universe works, right? Without, when I was that person, bro, when I built up my self-worth, I got aligned with the most feminine girl I have ever met, bro, right? And she's literally slotted into my life and she just literally compliments my life. This is my current partner to this day. And I told her, look, I appreciate you hitting hitting me up. And she wasn't a bad person, my ex, right? She was a good person. She had a good heart. She was a good person. She wasn't a fucking evil, nasty bitch like that, right? But what I'm trying to say is this, bro. I got to work and I worked on myself and I, you know, chose to reconstruct myself into a person that I always needed to be, right? And I became that person, bro, after a while, yeah? And... I, it got to a point where I had, you know, no ill feelings to her, bro. Like, I actually wished her well. And she was like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, literally wishing me well. He's not bothered, right? And he's got a new girl. She's fucking 
way younger than me, right? Because my ex partner's about 30, I believe, now. And, or 31, she would be, sorry. And my current girl's 21, right? And I told her, bro, because she, she asked, you know, we had a little brief conversation and told her, look, I'm with a girl who's 21 years old. I'm very happy, right? You know, this is, and she could see this is a new person that she was speaking to, bro. She wanted a piece of me, bro, because I was that guy, right? And, you know, she dated a lot of guys, bro, during the process, right? I didn't do that. When I worked on myself, bro, when I had to accept the fact that she's not fucking coming back, this ex-partner, and I got to work, bro, as painful as that was, I went, I faced my adversity head on and just kept my mouth shut and just got to work and started to build my self-love, my confidence, everything again. This, she could see the byproduct of that, bro, and she wanted a piece of it. And sorry, man, you don't know what it took for me to fix myself, right? I'm not going backwards. I've met someone who's more aligned with me, right? The type of girl that suits the man that I am, right? And yeah, bro, it got really really like it got to a point where she was literally like trying to make me feel bad bro right but that's what i'm saying revenge in a good way right and i wasn't trying to big note anything trying to get a jealous bro i'm not like that i don't give a fuck anymore i don't want to hurt people's feelings i don't operate like that i'm not operating through low frequency where i've got resentment or anger or anything like that i'm high frequency i wish everyone the best bro i don't wish anything bad even upon my worst enemy bro right it's always just positive thoughts that i've got but more or less revenge bro that was the revenge you could call it right me just bettering myself and and her realizing fuck he's moved on but yeah i had to i had to literally yeah just be really straightforward and and tell her just stop communicating with me man like it, it's done okay i moved on and that's it and she started to become toxic bro right she started to become crazy become toxic and that's what i'm saying bro revenge is a very very deep deep killer bro so as a man Take my advice, brother, right? Move forward, face that adversity, and just crush it, right? Look, I'm going to end this video here, bro. All right, this video has gone a little bit longer than usual, but I just wanted to, you know, help my fellow brotherhood, you know, get through these tough times, these heartbreak moments, right, in life. And been through many of them, so that's why I just thought I'll share and, and help you. But look, man. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It really, really helps me, you know, keep making more content to add more value, right? And if you like this video, give it a like. Just know that I love each and every one of you that support my channel, right? From the bottom of my heart, I really do, bro. I really appreciate all my supporters, my community, right? If there's any sort of heartbreaks or or if there's anything, you know, related to the topics that I'm talking about that you think I can help with, bro, or you have, you know, something you want to talk about, you can always hit me on, on Instagram if you want to, you know, have a sort of private chat with me, bro. You don't want anyone to see in the YouTube comments or just comment down below, bro, like a heartbreak, like what was your heartbreak like, right? I'd love to, you know, hear your story and I'll reply to each and every one of my brothers from my heart. I don't do no quick love heart like and then move on bro just to save time i actually properly involve my, my everything with responding to each and every one of you right because i'm that guy bro i keep it real i keep it genuine but anyway look i'm going to end this video here have a beautiful and blessed day and i'll see you in the next video peace let's get it